Cheney. He learned makeup from his father, but never really got to use those skills as much as his dad, who told him he was probably too tall to have a film career. You're putting me on. Oh, really? It was a producer who decided he should use the name Lon Cheney Jr. because it would be great for advertising, but Lon never liked it, especially the junior part. That sucks. It did. His first big role was playing the mentally challenged Lenny in 1939's Of Mice and Men. But it was this movie, The Wolfman, that really made him a star and gave an added boost to Universal's horror franchise. It led to him playing Larry Talbot in many horror films, and as time passed, he found himself relegated to lots of low-budget horror flicks with occasional character parts in films like High Noon. Hello, Nana! No, it's High Noon. As we've said before, he's the only actor to have played the four classic movie monsters, Wolfman, Frankenstein Monster, Mummy, and Dracula. He was a gentle giant off-screen, and I remember seeing him in the early 70s on The Tonight Show with Johnny Carson, and his voice was a gravelly whisper because he said kids kept coming to his house on Halloween and asking him to do the Wolfman growl. Sort of like that. Lon died in 1973, always feeling he had never reached the same fame as his father. Uh, have I reached the fame of the original Spinguli? Uh, no. Didn't think so. I'm sorry. Okay. No, that's all right, really. You're pushing my buttons. That's because everyone should have the Spanguli Buttons Collector Set. You get all seven buttons for $10 plus tax. To order this online exclusive, go to Spanguli.com and click store.